What's the makeup of this offensive line this year? What do you like about the group? Well, you know, I like we've got an old group of guys. We've got guys who have played a lot of football together. We've got guys who've got some experience. And honestly, the most important thing is we're all friends. We're all very close. We get along together very well. And I think that's going to help a lot come fall. We'll definitely see the dividends of that. How important is it to have those older guys? What's what's easier about that process when you when you head into a camp knowing you're already gelling and you get along so well? Well, when you have older guys that have played a lot of football together, you know that everyone's comfortable with each other, and you don't need that time to get used to each other. And also, everyone's played a lot of football; they've seen a lot of things, so we all have very high football IQs. Full year in Coach O'Brien's offensive system. What do you like about it? What are some things that you really enjoy? I like how it's constantly changing. There's constantly things being added, constantly challenging us with new things. I like that mental challenge that Coach O'Brien brings with his offense, and it's enjoyable for me. He likes to play with a lot of tempo, fast tempo, slow tempo, something in between. How do you prepare for that as a player in the off season so that you know you're in, in the best shape that you can be in? All you can do is just really make a focus in your off-season preparation to be well-conditioned. Because Coach O'Brien does like to play fast. And the best thing you can do as an offensive lineman is be well-conditioned so when we're moving fast tempo, the defense is tired and we aren't. That's the best situation we can possibly be in. Coach Mack said this summer that the biggest thing that he's noticed is the fact that heading into camp, everybody knows where they need to be, how you practice. What, what's that process going to be like the second time around? How much easier is that going to be in a couple of weeks when you get out there and you I know think, what's going on? I think it'll be a lot easier. You said you run You've run got a great comfort level with the coaches. We know what to expect. We know what's expected of us. And I think this will make for a successful season. You get to open the year in an NFL stadium. You excited about that? Yeah, you know, I am. I always I keep track of what NFL stadiums I've played in. So this is just kind of a fun thing to just keep track of. So. It's going to be nice to add one more to the list. Glenn, what's it like playing for Coach Butler? What do you like about it? I love his energy. He really brings a lot of energy onto the field, and he's kind of like a madman out there, so it's a lot of fun to play for him, and it definitely feeds into the players. Take us into a, a meeting session with Coach Van. What's it like? Uh, definitely a lot of critiques, uh, a lot of things, um, you know, that we have, like small minors details is the biggest thing that, that we do in there. And, you know, your foot could be stepping the wrong way, and, you know, it's, it's a big issue. So uh, it's definitely we're paying attention to the minor details, but I think that's really what makes us great as a, as a core. You've been a linebacker at Penn State for a number of years. Great tradition. What's that like as a player to be on the field knowing that you're carrying on the tradition? It's definitely an honor. It's truly an honor. I mean, there's been so many great names that have played before me, and, you know, I just love being a part of that group, and I just love playing for Penn State and being a linebacker there. What do you like about this makeup of linebackers? You're in there with Mike Hall, Manny Mortman, Ben Klein. What do you like about that group? Uh, a bunch of hard workers. They, they really work hard. Mike Hall is one of the hardest workers that I've ever met. So it's, he's, a Penn, he's a Penn State linebacker through and through, and it's really fun to, to play with those guys. In terms of style of defense, what do you like about Coach Bus Butler's system? What do you like about the way you play? Uh, it's fun. It kind of keeps us on our, on our toes. We do like a lot of things that can check and make audibles, and he kind of allows me to, um, you know, see those things on the field and kind of um, make checks and things like that on the fly. So I really enjoy that as a middle linebacker. A full year under Coach O'Brien's style of practice, the way he likes to practice fast and that type of thing. What's this camp going to be like compared to last year's? Um, you know, we might even see more of that, that fast-paced offense. And, you know, that's really what gets us in good football shape is practicing uh, what we call NASCAR offense. So it's going to be another tough camp. It's always tough, and we, we have it has to be for us to get ready for uh, Syracuse. How do you feel heading into this camp? I'm really excited. This game's going to mean a lot to me. We're playing at MetLife Stadium. I was always a Giants fan growing up, and I'm a Jersey guy, so uh, it's going to be great playing back in my home state. Malcolm, year two with Coach Butler. What do you like about playing for him? I like everything. You know, his his attitude, his his the way he goes about coaching. You know, he's he's really enthusiastic, and you know he, he wants to get the best out of all his players. So you know, year two coming around, I'm expecting the same thing, the same kind of attitude when camp comes around. We're all practicing, expecting to get yelled at a couple times. 
you know, but it's all it's all in fun and it's all in, it's all in for the good of the team. How about Coach Midget? You had a spring with him. What do you like about his style? Um, me personally, I, I I love it because you know he's he's played at the highest level, and you know he has a lot of knowledge. So I be I be a fool not to listen to anything that he's telling me because he he's done everything that I'm trying to do. Talk about the defensive scheme as a whole. What do you like about that and, and the style that you play? It's really aggressive. You know, we, we have we have multiple looks and multiple sets and multiple, multiple packages, but at the end of the day, everything is about being aggressive and physical. You know, and, and getting after the ball. You know, that, that's that's something that, that we still need to work on. You know, we're, we're going to work on that every day in practice, just being ball hawks back there in the secondary and as a, as a defense as a whole. You know, but aggressiveness is, is really our motto. How do you do that? How, how do you practice to, to get more takeaways? Is it so valuable? It just, it, just, it just has to, you have to practice making it a second nature, you know. Every every time you're making a tackle or every time the ball's in the air, you have to think that it's yours. Every time the defense is on the field, our job is to get the ball back to the offense. It's not to it's not to score points or, or and you know, it, if that happens, that's well, all, it's all good and, and well, but our main job is to get the ball back to the offense. You opened the year in an NFL stadium. Excited about that? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more than excited, you know. I, a couple years ago, we played at FedEx, you know, the, back in my hometown, and you know, playing in a stadium like that is just it's, it's breathtaking because ultimately that's that's where you want to play at on Sundays. New number for you this year? Talk about that. Um, a lot of people wouldn't know this, but my, my best friend's mom, you know, she she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and um, you know, I, I I went to her and I asked her, you know, if if it was any number that I could get. To you know, to, to show you how much I care about you, what would it be? And she, and she told me that number. She told me number one, and you know, that, that's that's what I decided to do this year. It's all for her. Have you enjoyed Big Ten media so far? Oh yeah, it's been a blast. It's been a blast. Yesterday, you know, just just seeing the scenery, she's getting out on the town, and, and you know, seeing seeing all the all the good things, being out on the, on the uh, pier and things like that. Now we also got to meet up with a couple old teammates, and Drew Astorino and Joe Sui. You know, they they live out here in Chicago, and they and they, they took us out and showed us a good time.